B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B, plus B. That's so much fun in this education for you and everyone to come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Elsie. Yesterday we talked about fake news, right? Yes, because I read some fake news and nearly shared it online. Oh, that was scary. It is bad to spread fake stories. Even if they're just a joke, people might believe them. And then they get the wrong idea about things, and getting the wrong idea might change the way they think, change the way they act, and even change the way they vote. Right. People might even stop believing real news. Yeah, you just say, "Oh, so much fake news. Oh, nothing can be real. Everything's fake." But like me, you may be wondering, but how do I know? If the news is fake or real. Good question. Today, in part two of our article, we're going to teach you a how. Yes, and I need to pay attention to this part of the article too because I nearly made my mistake. Let's see what the article says. How to spot fake news? Here are some things to check when you read the news. One, first. Carefully check to make sure the article is from a real news source. A fake news website may have a similar name to a real newspaper's. Two, try to find more information about the writer. Three, you can also check facts at websites like Snopes.com. Factcheck.org or tfc-taiwan.org.tw. Four. Use Google's reverse image search for pictures. They may also be fake. Five. Don't believe articles with a lot of language mistakes. They're often fake. With these tips, you can easily spot fake news. Word power. Check. Check. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Fact. Fact. This TV show is full of interesting facts about animals. For example, a snail can sleep for three years. This TV show is full of interesting facts about animals. For example, a snail can sleep for three years. Tip. Tip. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us take this kind of test. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us take this kind of test. Spot, spot. Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? 认识智慧 Article. Source. Website. So the article starts by saying, "Here are some things to check when you read the news." Now, before we get into those things, let's look at that word "check." C H E C K. Check. 
It's a verb, and it is the first of today's word power words. So check can mean make sure of something by looking at it closely, but here we're using the word check to mean you should check or look at the official source for something. For example, if you read some news, you want to check where did that news come from. We'll be getting into that later. Maybe if you're answering a science question, you want to find information. You'll check your textbook. Ah, that's the right information, and all sorts of things like that. Here's one that you English students will probably use a lot in our example. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Check 这个动词呢，在文章中指的是确认、查清。那我们的例句说到呢 ，Alice 在字典里面确认了这个字的意思。那文章开头提到啊，这里有一些事情呢，这里有一些事项呢，是我们在阅读新闻的时候能够确认的。So what can we check for when we read the news? Well, the article says number one, first. Carefully check to make sure the article is from a real news source. Now, an article is a piece of written work, maybe in a newspaper or like in our magazines. You guys might need to write some articles for school. Article 这个字呢，就是文章的意思，或是报道。那现在呢，我们就在读文章，对不对 ？We are actually reading an article right now.、Mm-hmm. 所以呢，文章说到呢，我们要在要在确认新闻的出处。Every article must have a source. That is correct. A source is where something comes from. So for a news article, the source is usually the website、mm-hmm. or maybe the TV show or whatever it's on. News article written down. Usually these days, a website rather than a real paper. So BBC, that is a news website. CNN, that is a news website. They are sources of news. Now you could also have a reporter, journalist, or a blogger.、Mm-hmm. They could even be sources. Source 这个字呢，就是来源、出处，所以我们要确认。我们所阅读的文章，我们所阅读的新闻，是不是是真实的新闻来源 ？But how do we know if the source is real? Well, here's something you can check to see if it's real.、Mm-hmm. The article says a fake news website may have a similar name to a real newspaper's. So a website is a bunch of related pages on the internet,、mm-hmm. all starting with the same name. So BBC.co.uk also has forward slash news, BBC.co.uk forward slash sport, and so on. So they're real websites. But if you see BBCC.com, <laughs> then it's probably a fake news source. You might think it's the BBC because the names just look very similar and、mm-hmm. you read them quickly, but it's not the same as the BBC. 对，所以少一个字母，多一个字母都不是真的。Check BBC, 一定要是 BBC 才对。Not BBCC, not BBCC, not BBBCC. Oh, <laughs> 好，我们在文章当中呢看到助动词 may 这个字，那它的过去式呢代表 might， 那两个字都表示可能，那有什么不同呢？我们先进到 Magic Box 听讲师讲解喽。Magic Box 找亮点。大家好，我阿拉丁虽然出身低哦，但是呢，我其实是个知书达理的好孩子哦，请谢谢，对不起，我可是常挂嘴边哦。当我去呢图书馆看到坐满了人，有一个空位呢，我会先问问旁边的人 ，May I sit here？ 我可以坐在这边吗？哎呀，想跟我一样有礼貌吗？我们呢就要来认识一下这个单词 May 喽。May 这个单词呢，你可能知道当名词哦。第一个字母大写，可能呢是表示五月，或者是有人名。那至于当做助动词，它就有个特别的名称了，叫做情态助动词。它呢就可以用来表示可能。比方说，今天的天气怎么样呢 ？It may get cold later today. It may get cold later today. 今天稍晚呢，可能天气会转凉哦
。如果呢没有 May 这个句子呢 ，It gets cold today. 今天会变冷。你斩钉截铁确定今天一定会变冷。但是呢，加上了 May， 哎，它就有了可能性。可能会变冷，这个呢就是情态助动词在句子里的角色喽。May 这个情态助动词呢，就用在三种情况。第一种呢，就如同我们刚刚所说的了，表达可能性。OK， the chorus may look silly， but they sound wonderful。OK， 合唱团呢可能看起来很傻，但是哦，他们唱歌超好听的。OK， 可能怎么样？表示可能，这是我们第一种用法。第二种用法呢，就可以用来表示请求了。比方说呢，像我刚刚问说，我可以坐在这边吗 ？May I sit here？ 我可以坐在这边吗 ？May I sit here？ 或者是呢，站在门口了，我就问说呢，我可以进来吗 ？May we come in？ 我们可以进来吗 ？May we come in？ 第三种用法呢，我们则是用来表达祝愿或是希望了，祝福别人的时候可以使用。May they be very happy in the future. 希望他们未来呢可以很快乐喽。May they be very happy in the future. 或者是呢，像电影《星际大战》里面常说的 ，May the force be with you. 愿原力与你同在。OK， 这个呢就是 May 的三种用法喽。May 哦，其实呢，它还有一个亲戚叫做 Might。Might 一样可以表达可能哦。它其实呢，就是 May 的过去式。但是呢，在现在的用法哦，不管是现在或是过去，其实我们都可以使用 Might。那 Might 跟 May 有什么差别呢？ Might 首先呢，它的可能性呢就比 May 要更小一些了。比方说呢，我们刚刚说 It may rain， 可能会下雨。OK， 我心里呢大概有 50% 的把握。但如果你说 It might rain，OK，It、okay, might rain， 我搞不好就不会带伞出门，因为可能性就更小一些了。再来呢 ，might 也可以用在请求，但是呢，用 might 就显得太过正式、太过委婉了。现在的对话呢，已经不太常见了，所以呢，当要用请求的时候，我们尽量是使用 may。以上呢，就是情态助动词 may and might， 希望呢，你也记起来喽。大家要小心的是呢，假新闻网站可能会取一个跟真实报纸一样的名称。So we need to be really careful with that.、Mm -hmm. But what else can we do to stop spot fake news? Okay, so the next idea is number two: try to find more information about the writer.、Mm -hmm. So maybe the writer works for a real news group. Or maybe they're just a robot that's、oh. making the news, or maybe just someone who makes things up for fun or money. You can Google their names and find out. So we can try to find out more about the writer's information. We could check out the information in the article as well as the writer. Yes, as long as you go to the right place, and that is our next. Piece of advice. The article says you can also check facts at websites like Snopes.com, FactCheck.org, or TFC-Taiwan.org.tw. Now, those kind of strange names are all websites where you can check facts. Okay. Now we use the word. Fact. There, fact is a noun. F A C T. Fact. It's our next word power word. So let's check it out. A fact is a piece of information that is true. So here are some facts about me. I'm British. I'm 38. I'm married. I have a son. These are all true. So they're all facts. Here's more in our example. This TV show is full. Of interesting facts about animals, for example, a snail can sleep for three years. This TV show is full of interesting facts about animals. For example, a snail can sleep for three years. Fact 这个名词呢是事实。那我们例句说呢，这部电视节目啊，充满了关于动物的有趣事实。举例来说呢，瓜牛能睡上三年。Oh, Is that so、true? nice. <laughs> I would love to sleep for three years. <laughs> 那我们回到文章呢？我们也说到，我们可以在上述的三个网站当中查询确认新闻内容是否为真实的。
Okay, so you've got to check the writer, check、mm -hmm. the information,、yes. check the facts. Now it's time for our next idea, number four. Use Google's reverse image search for pictures. So the pictures might also be fake. The article says they may also be fake, and that's true. We often see pictures online, and we think a camera took that picture. It must be real. But we all know that photos can be changed, or that a photo that says it's showing one thing actually shows another. Oh, so we can use this tool, reverse image search, 以图找图，以图搜图的方式 to check if the picture is real. Yes, you would put it into this. I guess it's a website page、mm -hmm. or a search function, and they will find where it came from and、okay. say this is what the photo really is. This is when it first appeared. So、uh -huh. maybe the date is wrong. Something else like that. Okay, so that's number four, and here's piece of advice number five. Don't believe articles with a lot of language mistakes. So here we mean things like wrong spellings, bad grammar, strange sentences, things like that. So we need to be careful. If you see a text that has many mistakes in language, such as spellings, spelling, grammar, grammar, these mistakes are not believable. As our article says. They are often fake, but why? Yes, they're often fake. Well, real news sources will always use reporters and writers who are good at writing in their language—English,、mm -hmm. Chinese, whatever—and they pay other workers to check the English、mm -hmm. and check all the facts. But fake news doesn't get checked, and the writers could be anyone, even people who don't speak English well.、Mm -hmm. That's why language mistakes often appear in fake news. So, if anyone can be the author, then of course, mistakes will be discovered. Then the news will be false. And that's all five of our pieces of advice. That is right. So there's five different tips there that you need to follow. The article then says, with these tips, you can easily spot fake news. Now we have two word power words to look at in this sentence. The first one is the noun tip, T I P, tip. Let's check it out and find out what it means. A tip is a useful piece of advice for getting things done better and more easily. Tips are almost always about how to do something real, generally with your hands. Like you want to do something, this is how you do that thing. The list of five things we just gave you—they're all tips for spotting fake news. I could also give you tips for how to improve your listening in English, tips for speaking in public, and so on. Here's another example of that kind. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us take this kind of test. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us. Take this kind of test. Tip 这个字呢，在文章中当诀窍来使用啊，是一个名词，而且还是一个可数名词哦。那另外呢 ，tip 还可以当做不可数名词，它的解释是小费。那例句说到啊，我们老师给了我们一些诀窍，好帮助呢我们考好这类型的考试。那回到文章，我们知道这几个秘诀之后 ，it's easy for you to spot. Fake news. Yes, and the word spot, S P O T, spot. It's a verb, and it is our final word power word for the day. So let's find out what it means. To spot something means to see or notice it, usually because you are looking to try to find it. You're looking hard. If you just look around and see something kind of by accident, that's not spotting it. If you're like Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. You are spotting it. Here's an example and a pretty fun game. Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? Spot 这个动词呢，解释为发现或是发觉。那一样哦，发音要小心。S P， 我们这边念作 spot 的声音。那例句说到啊，你能发现这两张相似的图？里面的不同之处吗
So now we've learned how to spot fake news, which is great, and、yeah. it's also the end of our article.、Mm-hmm. So it's review time.、Yay. Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽 So today we learned how to spot fake news. Are we going to be any better at it now? Well, let's let's use that information. Uh-huh. Let's uh, spot each other's fake news、okay. again. Like yesterday, we're going to give three facts,、mm-hmm. but one of those facts will be a lie. So,、mm-hmm. two true things, one lie.、Mm-hmm. See if we can use these tips from today's article to guess. What might be wrong? Okay, so it's like a ting ting yang game. So, all right. So my three then. Number one, I have cut open a heart. You. Number yeah. Translate it. 切过别人的肚子，然后把它打开。Just just the heart. 你你切过心脏哦，切过心脏。Number two. This one's tricky. I have cut open an eye. 切过眼睛。Again, not not in a head, just you know. 就是眼睛本身 Number three, I have held a human brain in my hands. 你捧过人脑在你的手中 I think all the threes are lies. All three are lies. <laughs> Actually,、okay. the, the, don't tell me. Uh huh. So I have to spot the. Spot the fake news. Yeah, the, some of these tips you can't use because they're not from a source. The source is me. Number three. You think the brain one?、Mm-hmm. It's the heart one. It's the、I、heart have, one. I、okay. cut open a sheep's eye at、uh-huh. school. I held a brain、of? in college. Of what? A human. Of a human. Yeah. <gasps> what did But, you study in college? Science stuff. Wow. But I never cut a heart open myself. I've watched it, but not done it. Okay. So, what about you? Okay, I got three sentences. Three here. sentences. So, number one, I've been to the U.S. Right. Okay. Ten times. Ten times. Okay. Number two, I've been to Europe. Right. Number three, I've been filming in AMC for more than. Five years. More than five years. Well, let's see. I've been here almost seven. So, U.S. Yes, I know you go there a lot. You're. I think it's number two. I think you've never been to Europe. I've never been to Europe. Yes, you are. I、right. spotted the fake news. <laughs> Good job. All right, that is all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again sometime soon for A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Elsie. Bye bye. Bye. How to spot fake news? Here are some things to check when you read the news. One, first, carefully check to make sure the article is from a real news source. A fake news website may have a similar name to a real newspaper's. Two. Try to find more information about the writer. Three, you can also check facts at websites like Snopes.com, FactCheck.org, or TFC-Taiwan.org.tw. Four. Use Google's reverse image search for pictures. They may also be fake. Five. Don't believe articles with a lot of language mistakes. They're often fake. With these tips, you can easily spot fake news. Check, check. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Alice checked the meaning of the word in the dictionary. Fact, fact. This TV show is full of interesting facts about animals. For example. A snail can sleep for three years. 
This TV show is full of interesting facts about animals. For example, a snail can sleep for three years. Tip. Tip. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us take this kind of test. Our teacher gave us some tips to help us take this kind of test. Spot, spot. Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? Can you spot the differences between these two similar pictures? Article. Source. Website.